Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a slide transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. It's gonna look a little something like this. So you see that you have your footage and it all slides out like uh, sort of a fun way. Uh, it's a cool way to sort of transition between scenes, sort of like a happier transition, uh, can quickly sort of, you know, jump you between a bunch of different pieces of uh, footage, maybe get you from one full scene to another scene, and then, you know, it continue on here. So basically what we're just doing is we're going to be animating some slides and then using some uh, interpolation to make sure that they, they feel smooth to us. So let's get started by creating ourselves a new sequence. So file, new, and then sequence. And then we're just going to go ahead and drag in our footage, which are these four clips over here on the left. I'm just going to drag them all in, highlight them all, um, and we can hold down the Alt key to delete their their sound, or you can hold all of this to unlock, unlink them. You don't have to delete the sound, I just do it so that we don't have to listen to it uh, during these. And then now what we're gonna do is, once we have all of the clips, we're going to organize them so that the first clip is highest up, so we can choose really any one that we want. Uh, I went with this one last time, so we can do the same. We can drag this on up to the top, and it has a big like sort of zoom at the front, but we don't want that, so I'm gonna cut that off, and then we'll put it right here. And then what we want to do is transition it into the next piece of footage, which is let's go with uh, let's go with the water footage again. So we're going to click it, trim it, and then bring it down. And we want to have a little bit of overlap. The longer the overlap, the longer the effect is going to be. Um, so actually, let's go maybe like right there on the overlap. And then we want to move this forward. Find a cut point. Uh, sometimes if you click X, you gotta clear those back out. Uh, but we want to click. That we want to cut this. I'm using the C key to quickly switch to the cut tool and the V key to quickly switch back. And then we wanted to drag in our other two pieces. The next one is going to be this bus scene, like so. And then the final one is going to be right here with the uh, second bus scene. And so now we have basically all of the effects set up. And all we have to do is start animation of them and make sure that they're all sort of the same. They don't have to be on the same interval, but if you want to, you can sort of bring them all down so they're about the same. It'll make it look a little bit more uniform. But that is looking good. And right now we just have plain cuts, so we're just going down, switching between the scenes like so. Let's add in the animation. What we want to do is go to where it's going to start, which is right under the, uh, right where the under footage begins. Click on the top footage and we're going to go into our effects and we're going to look for transform. Uh, you can just search transform up here and it'll bring you into video effects, distort, and then transform. And we're going to drag that transform it down here. And what we want to do is we want to start the effect by going into the position in the transform effect. So not in the motion up here, uh, the default, sort of the two defaults that get added onto the clip. We want to use the transform, which we just dragged on there want to go into the position marker, set a keyframe, and then move over to where it should end, which is right at the end. So let's go right about there. And then we want to click this left one. So there's position, this is going to be the X, this is going to be the Y, we want to drag the X over. And we don't want to like just drag it really far off, we want to make sure that it goes right to the edge. Otherwise, whenever we try to animate this, it's going to basically in the first two frames, it'll fly off the camera. And then for the rest of the frames, it's going to be you know, floating away over here. So now the entire motion is going to be captured within the frame uh, itself. The next thing we want to do is we want to uncheck use composition shutter angle. We want to drag this up to something decently fast to give it some motion blur. The higher you go, the more motion blur it's going to get, more smooth it'll look, but sometimes it'll, you can see there's like some uh, stretching. The black is sort of being stretched out there. I like to go maybe right around 100 on this, right about there. And now we have this motion going. So this is our first transition, but it looks very, very plain. So what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and adjust this. So you can see that it's just the exact same velocity. If we drop this down, you can see the velocity, the exact same velocity the whole time. So we want to click on our first keyframe, and then we want to go with easy in, or actually let's go with easy out. Easy in isn't going to do anything in this situation. Uh, we're going to use easy out, and that's going to basically start it slow and then make it go really fast by the end. And that just makes it look a little bit smoother. Uh, we start off with it sort of moving over, then it just sort of whips it off the screen. 
And we're gonna keep the last one linear. We don't need to add anything to it because I like this arc right here. If we add something to it, it might go up and then come back down. We just want it to slowly get faster until it gets off the other side of the screen. If you wanna adjust this, you can make it, you know, uh, if you click on the keyframes, you can make it go like sort of this weird roller coaster, which actually that looks kind of neat. Uh, in a sense, it has a sort of cool feel to it, and it sort of has a more fun, uh, vibrant feel to it. So I'm actually going to go with that. I'm going to stick with this one and see how it looks with all four of them like that. So once we have this effect down, what we want to do is we want to click on the transform right here. We want to hold down the control key and then hit control C. So we're copying this effect. Now we're going to go and click on the one that is beneath our effect. So this is what we were selected on. Now we're clicking on this one. Go up into the effect controls, make sure we're selected on the effect controls, then hit control V. That's going to paste the effect. And you'll see that we have the effect over here, but since this one is a little bit shorter, it gets cut off. So if you have some room over here, you can just extend it so you can grab the keyframes and drag them back. Um, if this isn't how, and then Basically, you'll go to the beginning of the effect and you'll drag this on over and then it'll create the exact same effect as it did up here. Now, if you didn't have any extra room, so you can't, you know, drag it over and one of these is cut off, instead of copying the whole effect, what you can do is you can go up to the top one and just highlight the keyframes and control uh, C them, drag on a new transform to this one and then control V the keyframes onto them. And this is just going to copy and paste the keyframes and make sure that the effect is standard. Uh, it's going to be exactly the same on each one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same thing to this one. I'm going to copy the transform, drag it onto this, and this fits pretty nicely. So let's go to where the effect should begin, which is right here. And let's drag these out so that it lines up with that. And that should be the only ones we have because we did the transition here, here, and here. And now we can watch our effect right here. And there we go. Now we have that sort of, I would call it maybe like a photographic sort of transition where it seems like you have a bunch of photos in your hand and you're just sort of going over one at a time, uh, sort of almost taking them and like throwing the next one on the floor, throwing the next one on the floor. Gives a, like I said, a fun little effect. Uh, you could maybe do this with pictures as well, just to make it look like you're sort of shifting between different areas. That is how you create the sort of the smooth slide transition in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and let them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to give you every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.